Well, I was just, just lucky. I was on a trying out for the Yellow School football team, and Father Barry was the coach. I played center, mainly because they didn't have anybody that could snap the ball to their legs. Actually, I was snapping the ball to the punter, who's, who's what, 12, 13, 14, 15 years back, and not very many guys could snap the ball that far. So I was lucky for that reason. I was, I was you know, a member of the team. I think if anything uh, I, I could have done was something like that, because otherwise I had no talent. No, during that time we didn't drink any, we didn't drink any water. So now, if you do that, you might you might go to jail. <laughs> you know, you might you might die for the lack of water. But not doing all the time. You wouldn't show that you were hurt. You just try to do the best you can, trying to get 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 up for the next play. But he would know. He would know. Father Bear would know. And then he would take you out. So we knew his his idiosyncrasies. So so with, with that over there, he yank us out and he said, "You had to get out of there." He was kind of very conservative. He wanted to do less mistakes. Yeah, you know, Father Bray was everything was you be prepared for the ball game and you be ready. And everybody going to be ready. That's that's the important thing. Everybody is in line. Everybody is together. Everybody is accounted for. That is important. Everybody, everybody, no matter what position you play and what uh, what uh, how often he played, he was important. I, I think that I would never forget that. As long as he was on our team, he was important. He, he never did substitute. I think that that's one of his uh, uh, father Bray's coaching techniques. Is he never did re really substitute freely. Nobody could have the discipline that he had. When his car came up the driveway, we said, "Hey, the old man!" And boom, we'd all sit down in our bleachers. He had the bleachers then. You remember about eight, eight, nine. 10, 10 bleachers high. Then we'd sit down, and he'd, he'd come down, he'd come down the steps, and he'd say, hello, boys, and he'd say, hello, father. And then we'd take off from there. Well, it's, it's, it's regular formation, yeah. And, and then we'd, we'd just get a position to our, our, our sweet position, like the, the tailback. I know that, that I was supposed to snap the ball to his right knee, left knee, depending on what side we're going to go. And to the fullback, when we go over the center and things, he just dropped the ball. So where he runs up to the ball and catches the ball. And that, that is very important. That's a must. You give the, the ball carrier a little lead so he doesn't have to slow down in, in catching the ball and going. So that's very, uh, you, you notice I said that pretty easily, that's yes, because we, we worked on that pretty much. We would walk the play, walk, walk, this is, this is how you go, and we'll walk, we'll, we'll have one guy, we'll follow one guy, and uh, follow, follow his cue, and then we do it over and over again. And we wouldn't argue, he says, do it again, we'll do it again. We were thinking, gee, what? We're going to do it again and again and again. We just said it over and over and over again. But you know, his father was our coach, so we didn't argue and we just accepted it and we just practiced. But, but for that reason, we, we get better. That is probably very important that we would work it to perfection. And he'd sit down, as soon as uh, he sat down and the bus started to go, he would reach into his, his uh, overcoat, take out the hus uh, sea biscuit horseshoe. And then he'd tell us about sea biscuit, that sea biscuit was a great horse, he was a fighter, always worked hard. He kind of put 
you're learning in, this, in his place over there. And for that reason, we, you know, we, uh, we kind of took to Sea Biscuit. We tell him how to pass around and we grab the horseshoe by, by the side like this, the plate in the middle. We'd kiss it and we'd pass it in the back. You did the academic first, and, and then if you didn't do the academic, you'd get, stay out of practice. And you know, if he took you out of practice to go and study your homework, you know, that's very important. Yeah, that was Father Bray. The balance is there, see, and that's why we kind, we kind of took to him. Thanks even day game. There's always in, in uh, you know, in this classic league of home, there's always a double hitter. Take it a year, you play, you play the first game and the second game. During those days over there, when you make it in a Turkey Day game, it's a big thing. I think we played in the first game of the Turkey Day, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, it's great. You, 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 cannot, you cannot get over the feeling of it. Just the, just the idea with all the people in the stands, you just accepted it and you you just, you just accept the whole lot of people coming to watch the ball game. What Father Bay, one of his most important thing was you treat everybody the same. You know, whether you are the last team or the first team, an all-star, whatever. In fact, the all-star didn't mean a darn thing. You were on a team, and when you were on a team, you were important. We come for all-stars where you pick somebody up over the rest of the people. It's not his style. In fact, maybe he thought that all stars made guys big-headed and, you know, think there's something special. Why, if everybody ha have a lay, it's okay. But if only go, a few going to have the ball, uh, have a lay, nobody gets a lay. He'd, he'd rip it off you. He'd rip it off you. Why? Why should one guy have the level where a few guys have the level when everybody's participating, everybody's practicing to get to the game. And all of a sudden, uh, why, why, because he's an all-star, he gets a level. No, no way, no special treatment. No one individual was the favorite. So everybody is important. And that, that is very important. I think that's a great philosophy. Sometimes he looked, he got tough on some guys, but in the end, you know that he was fair. So that, that's, that's why we stuck by him all the way. Well, he, his values that he taught, he not only went to the student, but went, went abroad to the community. And I think that's why a lot of people accept the Yelani School, because of the values. Everybody is important. <laughs>